Welcome. You may have seen on the channel already that I've done a quite a long video recently on Thunderbird 2. And for me, the first Thunderbird 2 that I was aware of was this one on the right hand side by Dinky, which I, I picked up a little while ago. Um, I have been accused of not having done my research on that video, and I have since discovered that there was a, a series of Thunderbirds toys released by Jay Rosenthal um, under the JR21 banner. And they probably pre, well, I think they did predate these Dinky Toys ones, but here you have in front of you the entire range of Dinky Thunderbirds toys. This was it. But uh, Fab One here only arrived today. So I haven't actually looked at it in huge detail, but as you can see, it's got the um, it's got the number plate completely intact. It has the concealed missile there, which it does launch. I'm not quite sure how I made it launch, but it did launch quite convincingly. So I'm going to close that up now before it does something evil to my camera. And as you can also see, we've got Parker and Lady Penelope still sat in it, which I think is brilliant. You can still see the, um, the steering wheels in there as well. I mean, I'm not quite sure how he snuck this one past people, but it wasn't ridiculously expensive on eBay at all. They're, they're far less common than a lot of the other examples of, of dinky toys on eBay, I've, I've found. And I think this one's in really nice condition. Um, and I am going to do a separate video on this one, but I just wanted to show this in a little bit of detail. Because, um, as I say, this is the first time I've, I've ever had one in my hands. Um... So I thought you just might be quite quite interested in, in seeing that. So I'm assuming it's pretty complete. Um, they're, not, they're sometimes missing these rear windshields, and that actually slides as well, which is which is cool. Um, so you can just sort of slide it up like that and close it up again. So that's really cool. But um, the the oldest dinky toy catalog I have is is this one, which is number ten. This is 1974. Um, as you can see from the um, the back there, so it's copyright 1974, Meccano Limited, who of course were responsible for Dinky, uh, based in Liverpool. And you'll see, you'll see here that when I when I say this is the entire range of Dinky Thunderbirds toys, I mean literally that, because that is as much as they did. And that is the original catalogue page. And as you can see, that is what I've now reproduced there. Um, so, I don't understand what happened for Dinky to only produce 2, 4 and Fab 1. Because, you know, you would think that they would have gone full bore for Thunderbirds. Unless perhaps someone else had a license to produce other ones. But I don't understand why you'd have only the licenses for 1, 3 and 5. That makes no sense to me. So, for whatever reason, they focused on um, Fab 1 and Thunderbird 2 in a funny colour. So, I, I do not understand the logic, and I would not claim to understand the logic, because I wasn't there. Um, but that is that is all they, all they did, it seems. So, as it stands, I now have examples of Dinky's entire Thunderbirds toys range, um, to complement my Space 1999 Eagles, which of course came later. I mean, these toys were old when when the Eagles arrived. And yet they were still producing them. So this, I'm just having a look. So this is this made into license for Century Twenty One Toys Limited, which is interesting because they are connected to JR Twenty One. Um, Lady Penelope's Fab One Thunderbirds. It doesn't actually have a date on it, which is unusual. Normally there's normally there's a date, but as you can see there. It doesn't seem to be a date. I'm not sure what sales number 100 means. Oh, that could be that could be the model number actually. Let me just have a yes. So so that is model that is Dink. Sorry, I should just show you there. So that is that is the model number is 100. So Fab One was 100, and the um, the, the Thunderbird Two is 101 there. So it's quite a useful reference that as well because obviously you know if you wanted. To, to sort of search for it, and that's that's a good way to distinguish it. Um, but I don't know the year of manufacture for that, unless it's hidden somewhere else and I just haven't seen it yet, but um, there doesn't seem to be a, a year of manufacture. So I'm not sure about, about that one, I don't know. 
was this? No, it was still... So it looks like they hadn't taken to doing years of manufacture at this point. Um, but you see that they just say 101 there on, on them. There's not, not, not actually a detail I've noticed before, ironically enough. Not when I was doing my original video, but then Thunderbird 2 that I was sort of scampering through at the time. So I'm uncertain. As the, I, I know this is, a, this is a, obviously a very early one because it's, it's well, I say it's very early. I'm trying to think what how you grade it now, but the um the colour of the legs does change occasionally, I think. So I think the yellow legged versions are slightly earlier than some some ones that have different coloured legs. It's just one of the little quirks of the, the variants that you get. But um I've no idea how I would carbon date the Fab One. Other than knowing that, that it was, you know, obviously they, they they were produced for years and years. So it's I guess it's very hard to do, but I'm happy enough with you know with the uh, the condition of it for its age, regardless of exactly when it was, because both of those are, could be touching sixty years old almost, Fifth, sort of fifty years old almost definitely. So um, it's just a nice piece of uh, toy archaeology to have, you know. Um, yeah, so just thought you'd be interested to see those and. You know, if you are a sort of a, a dinky collector, those will be the only Thunderbirds toys in your collection. Not necessarily the only Jerry Anderson inspired toys, granted, but they will be the only um, Thunderbirds toys in your dinky collection. So um, that's been of interest. Do like and subscribe as ever. And I'm um, going to get on to one of my slightly longer videos before too much longer. Cheers for now.